Hey guys, we are going to do a 30 minute uh, vinyasa flow that is solely focused on the hamstrings and uh, for strengthening and lengthening the hamstrings. So uh, to get started, just uh, come onto your backs with your knees bent, arms by your sides. Lift the hips up. We're just going to start by uh, activating the hamstrings. So what we're going to do is we're going to lift the toes up off the mat and start to walk the heels forward. So a little bit of core work here too. So you're going to extend the heels out as much as you can and then walk the heels back. So remembering to keep the hips up off the ground and start to walk the heels forward and then walk back. And just two more times here, so walking the heels forward. The more slow that you go, the more that you will feel this in your hamstring. So keep the hips high, walk the heels forward, and then walk back. Lower your toes down, lower your hips down. Extend your right leg up towards the sky, reach behind the hamstring or the calf. Just a gentle stretch here. Lower the right leg down, lift the left leg up, reach behind the hamstring or the calf, flexing your toes. Lower the left leg down and eventually make your way all the way up into a tabletop. Tabletop position, we're just going to go into dancing line. So, Finding any spots that may feel tight to you, you can kind of go into any position that you would like here, whether it's child's pose or upward facing dog. You can stretch, stretch your wrists. So whatever that means for you, this is just a time to explore your body. And you can find those places that need a little extra stretch. Maybe you weren't aware of how tight your forearms were or how much your shoulders just needed to to move around a little bit so just doing a little shoulder shrug here and come back to center tuck your toes under and hover your knees up off the mat coming into your hovering tabletop so pressing away from the ground spreading your fingers wide apart so they extend your right leg back, lift your right leg up a little bit higher, and then bring your right knee to your right elbow. Extend the right leg back, right knee to right elbow, lower the right foot down, still in your hovering tabletop, lift that left foot up, extend the left foot back, lift it up a little bit higher, bring that left knee to your left elbow, and extend back, left knee to left elbow, and lower down that left foot, knees still hovering. Continue to breathe here. So we begin to bring the knees apart and the heels together, drop your knees down to the mat, child's pose. From child's pose, make your way forward into upward facing dog. But when you do this, keep your feet together and your knees apart. So lowering the chest down and just on your inhale, lift and pull the chest forward, roll the shoulders down and back and lift the chin and the chest up a little bit here. On an exhale, go back to child's pose. Inhale, go back up to that upward facing dog. Exhale, child's pose just one more time. Inhale, upward facing dog. And exhale, child's pose. Come back into tabletop. Tuck your toes under, push your hips up and back into downward facing dog. Take a few moments to pedal your feet out. And kick your left leg all the way up towards the sky. Open up the hip, roll it around. Just anything that feels good. 
on an exhale, place your left foot on the outside of your left hand. And inhale, the arms up to the sky. Exhale, hands down. Bring that right knee up off the mat. So you're gonna press into the ground and lift that left foot up very, very slowly. And kick it all the way up towards the sky. Lower the left foot down. Kick your right leg up towards the sky. Open up the hip, roll it around. And on your next exhale, place your right foot on the outside of your right hand. Inhale, lift the arms up to the sky. Exhale, hands down. Bring that left knee up off the ground. Pick your right foot up, really using your core to lift that right leg up and back. Lower the right foot down. Bring your feet together. And very slowly, we're just gonna do a couple of spine rolls. So coming high up on your toes, just vertebrae, right, vertebrae. Right, right. Make your way into plank. And reverse. So just do this a couple of times. Inhaling, rolling forward, and exhale, roll back. And inhale, come into plank. Exhale, lower down, chaturanga. Inhale, upward facing dog. Exhale, downward facing dog. Pull up to the top of your mat, jump, step, or hop all the way up to the top. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, fold. Inhale, lift the arms all the way up towards the sky. And exhale, hands to heart center. Shift the weight into your left foot. Pick your right knee up. And place the outside of your right ankle over top of your left, coming into a standing figure four. Sit your hips down and back, feeling that stretch in the outer hips. And slowly release. Take that right foot down. Shift the weight into your right foot. Pick your left knee up. Place the outside of your left ankle over top of your right knee. Coming into your standing figure four. Push the hips back. Slowly come back to standing. Inhale, lift the arms all the way towards the sky. And exhale, fold forward. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, step your feet back into plank. Lower down, chaturanga. Inhale, upward facing dog. Exhale, downward facing dog. Take your right leg all the way up towards the sky. And exhale, push your right foot on the outside of your right hand. Inhale, lift the arms up. Exhale, hands down. Lift that left knee up on the ground. Inhale, pick your right leg up and back. Open up your hip and flip your dog. Pushing the hips up towards the sky, feeling that stretch in the entire body. And slowly flip your dog back, keeping your leg lifted. Flow through your pinyasa. Maybe in downward facing dog. Kick your left leg all the way up towards the sky. Exhale, place your left foot on the outside of your left hand. Inhale, lift the arms up. Exhale, hands down. Bring that right knee up off the mat. Inhale, pick that left leg up towards the sky and flip your dog. Really stretching that left arm up and over your head, feeling that entire stretch in the side body. And flip your dog back into three-legged dog. Exhale, flow through your vinyasa. Take two deep breaths where you're at. And bring your feet together at the back of your mat. Take your right leg up towards the sky. Exhale, place your right foot in between your hands. Dial your back foot down. 
Inhale, up, warrior one. Finding your position here. And lengthen the arms out, straighten out your right leg. Extend the right arm forward, triangle pose. Lower the hands down to the ground. Pull the left hip forward and the right hip back, coming into pyramid pose. And revolve your triangle here. Push your left hand down, twisting open to your right. Extend your right arm up towards the sky. And just pay attention to your hips. Pull the left hip forward and the right hip back, keeping them in one straight line. Lower the right hand down. And inhale, lift up, crescent lunge, coming high up on those back toes. Lower your left knee down, untuck your toes and shift the hips back coming into a, a runner's lunge. So before we uh, fold forward and stretch over the side, we're just gonna press the right heel into the ground to activate the hamstring here. Just a little bit of dynamic stretching here. And then release and fold over that front leg. Slowly come back into your crescent lunge. And exhale, bring the hands back behind you. Come back and come into warrior three or airplane pose. Lower the hands down, standing splits. Release the left foot down. Take your feet about hip distance apart. Peace fingers grab your big toes. Inhale, halfway lift and exhale, fold. Slowly release, place your hands down onto your mat. Blow through your vinyasa. Indian downward facing dog. Take your left leg up towards the sky. Exhale, push your left foot in between your hands down, your back foot down, 45 degrees. Inhale, up, warrior one. And straighten out your left leg. Extend your arms out. Reach the left arm forward. Triangle pose. And lower the hands down to frame your left foot. Pull the right hip forward and the left hip, left hip back. Pyramid pose. Place the right hand on the inside of your left foot. Twisting open to your left. Bring that left arm up towards the sky. Keeping your hips as level as you can. Okay, to revolve triangle. Lower your left hand down. Come all the way back up into crescent lunge. High up on your back toes. And then lower the right knee down. Untuck your toes. Shift the hips back. Runner's lunge. From here, push your left heel into the mat to activate your hamstring. So you should feel this in the back of your left leg. And slowly release and fold forward. Feel that deeper stretch. Slowly come forward. Make your way back into crescent lunge. Exhale, hands back behind you. Shift the weight into your left foot. Airplane pose, Vikasana. Lower your hands down to your mat. Lift the right leg up towards the sky, standing split. You can open up the hip here or keep it closed, your preference. Lower the right leg down. 
Inhale, halfway lift. Feet are about hip distance apart and fold forward. Take your hands, palms facing up into Parahastasana, Gorilla Pose. Bend your knees, relax your head and your neck. Take two deep breaths here. Slowly release the hands and inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, hands down, flow through your vinyasa. So if you'd like to take some extra chaturangas here, go ahead and do that. So just take any variation that you'd like uh, to take in this class. It's completely up to you. All right, bring your feet together. Inhale, lift the right leg up towards the sky. Exhale, foot down, come into warrior one. Triangle pose. Pyramid. Revolve triangle. Crescent lunge. Lower the knee down, runner's lunge. Pressing your right heel onto the ground. And then fold forward and stretch. Crescent lunge. Hands back behind you, Dekasana. Standing splits. Lower the left leg down. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, hands down, jump step or hop. Flow through your vinyasa. Begin downward facing dog. And kick your left leg up to the sky. Exhale, foot in between your hands. Inhale, up, warrior one. Triangle pose. Pyramid. Revolve triangle. Crescent lunge. Lower the knee down, runner's lunge. Press your left heel into the ground. Release and fold forward. Come back into crescent lunge. Arms back behind you. Bringing the chest forward. I'm going to Dekasana. And standing splits. Lower the right foot down. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, hands down, jump step or hop. Float through your vinyasa. Just a few breaths here. We're going to go through that sequence one more time where we slow down and stretch and end with a mini shavasana. So bring your feet together at the back of your mat. Kick your right leg up towards the sky. Exhale, foot down, inhale, warrior one. Triangle pose. Pyramid. Revolve triangle. Crescent lunge. Lower the knee down. Runner's lunge. Press your heel into the ground. And fold over. Crescent lunge. Arms back behind. Dekasana. Standing split. If you have a handstand, or if you'd like to do a couple of handstand hops here, Take your choice for the next two breaths. Lower down. 
Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, hands down, flow through your vinyasa. All right, last side here, guys. Take a big inhale in. Exhale out. Inhale in. Exhale out. The left leg goes up to the sky. Exhale, push your foot in between your hands. Inhale, up warrior one. Triangle pose. Pyramid pose. Revolve triangle. Crescent lunge. Lower the back knee down, runner's lunge. Press your left heel into the mat. Release and fold forward. Come back into crescent lunge. Arms back behind. Vipassana. Standing split or handstand or handstand hops. Taking the next few breaths here, you can take your variation. Lower the right leg down. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, fold and flow through your vinyasa. Medium down or facing dog. From downward facing dog, you can jump, step, or hop. We're going to bring our feet in between our hands, coming onto our butt, and extending our legs out in front. So I have a limited space here, but uh, we're going to be going into a wide legged forward fold. So. Just you bring your legs apart. If you need a little bolster underneath your hips, you can do that if that um, helps you out a little bit, just depending on um, the tilt of your pelvis. So once you get here, just flex your toes. Keep your toes facing up towards the sky as much as you can here. Sit up as straight as you can and fold forward. And slowly make your way back up. So we're gonna bring the legs together, roll onto the stomach. Bring your arms um, to clasp behind your lower back. Lift the chest up, pull the hands back, rolling the shoulders back. Squeeze your feet or your toes, your ankles together, and lift up off the ground. Coming into your lotus pose. Continue to breathe and lower down, release the hands, come onto one cheek. So you have the option to go in, uh, going into that pose again, or if you'd like to go into bow pose, you can take your um, knees and your ankles about hip distance apart, bend your knees, reach the hands to grab either the tops of the feet or the ankles. From here, so you need to lift the chest up off your mat, push your feet or your ankles into your hands and lift up. Continue to breathe. And slowly lower the knees down. Bring your hands next to your chest. We're gonna come up onto um, our knees. We have about five minutes left for the class. So depending on your flexibility, you may need a block. 
Then we're gonna come into hero's pose. So if you can go into the full expression and this feels okay, and just hang out here. If you'd like to go all the way back onto your elbows, hang out here or onto your back. So hang out here for a couple breaths. If you need a block, or if you have a block or a pillow, you can place underneath your hips and just hang out here. So the point here is just we're slowly beginning to um, open up the hips as we have a little bit more of internal rotation um, in the hips here in this position. Slowly begin to make your way back up and extend your legs out. Take your feet about hip distance apart. Hands reach um, behind the hamstrings and just lower yourself all the way onto your backs. Hug your knees into your chest. And then from here, take the bottoms of your feet together as you bring your knees apart. I'm going to recline butterfly. Just a few breaths here. Bring your knees back together. And just one uh, inversion before we end class. So you can either hang out here with just legs up the wall. If you'd like to go into shoulder stand, you can push the hips up, place the hands uh, on the lower back, and just bring your chin to your chest. And if you are in shoulder stand, if you'd like to go into plow, just moving your legs, keeping your hips where they're at, just lower them back behind your head. Slowly lower the hips back down to the ground if you are in shoulder stand or plow. And then hug your knees into your chest. Drop your knees over to the left. Extend your right leg out if you can reach for that leg and you'd like a little bit more of a deeper stretch for the IT band and the glute. You can reach for that foot and extend your right arm out to the side. Release, bring your knees back into your chest. Drop your knees over to your left. Extend your left leg out. Come back to center, hug your knees into your chest. And release into Shavasana with your legs straight out. If this bothers your lower back, you can always bend your knees and tiki them in together and just slightly tuck the tailbone under. So find your variation, just turn the palms facing up and just slightly shin the shoulder blades down the back. This helps to open up the heart a little bit more and just give it a little bit more space.
slowly begin to come back into your body. Moving fingers and toes, wrists and ankles. Stretching your arms over your head. And just feel the full body stretch. Eventually making your way all the way up to a seated position. We'll just end with two deep breaths together. Placing your hands on your knees, just close your eyes, exhale everything out of the lungs. Take a big inhale in. Exhale out. Inhale. Exhale. Bring your hands to your heart center. And just take a moment to give yourself some gratitude for moving your body. I know that was not um, the easiest flow, but just give yourself gratitude for um, moving and putting in the work and giving yourself just 30 minutes to be able to move some energy around and to do something that is healthy for your body and for your mind. Bring your thumbs to your third eye, your forehead. Let's bow together. Thank you guys so much for joining me. I know that you guys are watching this video after I filmed it, but I'm just so incredibly grateful for each and out of every one of you who um, do these flows um, and, and watch these videos. It means so much to me. Thank you guys so much. Namaste. Thanks, guys.